I guess my question would be, I, I know it's kind of a lame question. Everybody asks this, but what would, what's your favorite role that you've played? Mm. Oh, you know, that's like asking to choose your favorite child. Um, but I have a couple. So one was a movie of the week I got to do with Sean Cassidy called Like Normal People. And it was based on the true story of a mentally handicapped couple. And uh, we got to spend time with them and with his family. And these are some of the most courageous, vanguard thinking people I'd ever encountered. And they, they serially overcame considerable life challenges with love and with humor. And uh, it was every day hanging out with them was a life lesson. It really was. It was such a privilege to to be with them. The other thing was funny because I, I had been cast before Sean, and they were talking about all these fabulous actors, people you think of as serious actors to do the role of the husband. And then they said they cast Sean Cassidy, and I thought, oh my God, he was in the height of his teeny bopper, you know, rock and roll fame and Hardy Boys and all that. And I thought this is going to be a disaster. And until another life lesson, I, we came to our first day of, we rehearsed this, so we read through it. And Sean, we had each been able to hang out with the real couple before coming to rehearsals. We'd had a few days with them each, but separately. I had never met Sean, very nice, incredibly nice guy. But then he launched into the role and it was like, oh, who's that? <laughs> you know, I had totally misread him from afar. I had totally underestimated his remarkable talent. So we've now become, we've been friends ever since, but he was astonishing. And I was like, no, nope. I, I judged a book by its cover. Um, and, uh, and um, you know, I really had to up my game because he was so darn good. He was so darn good. Wow. He came from an acting family, Linda. I mean, you think oh. about who his mom and dad were, and you think about Absolutely. his his siblings and everything. Yeah, he got had a pedigree. Yeah, totally. I would say probably the other two favorite roles. One was I got to do um, Blanche Dubois in Streetcar Named Desire, and it's a perfect play. It's there's not a wasted period, comma, syllable in it. And uh, it's he had such a sophisticated understanding of the female psyche, and you know. Anyway, that was a privilege. And the last favorite, <laughs> the next favorite, I guess, is a thing uh, got to do. Uh, well, it was called the Year of Magical Thinking, and it's uh, a play based on her book uh, of the same title, but written by Joan Didion, who just recently passed away. But it's um, so the play is my son's idea of a nightmare. It's an hour and 35 minute monologue. So mother talking nonstop. And first of all, it's weird that you can memorize that much. I mean, I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. So that <laughs> something is well written. You can learn it and uh, so I've been able to do it in 13 or 14 venues over the last six years or so. And it's a privilege. It's not like anything else I've done. It's, uh, it's Joan so courageously went into the minutia of grief and the madness of it. And she, the play takes you spinning down into the spiral upon the sudden death of her husband over dinner. And then she crawls her way, you know, out of this hole to, to a whole life and to a peaceful countenance. And so to, to speak those words, to travel her journey in as much as anyone can, uh, it was a real privilege. And also I, I felt we, it was a, I mean, at this stage of life, you wanna be in service to something meaningful and the conversations that would happen afterwards we had hospice workers and people that had lost their you name it their dog their wife their husband their you know saints preservers their kids whatever their house they'd they'd suffered loss 
And this piece spoke to them. I was, I did it in Kansas at some point and like, what am I doing in Kansas? And I was at the supermarket uh, in the middle of the run and this woman came up to me and she said, oh, I saw the play last night and, and my husband died three weeks ago and I thought I was going crazy and now I know I'm not. So it's like, okay. Thank you. I got to be a conduit for Joan's wisdom to this to this woman. So that, uh, and I hope to be able to do it again, you know, because it's uh, it's fulfilling as an actress, and you feel like it's about something. Oh, sure. Uh -huh.